neighborhood's infrastructure allows you to tweak it using Replang without actually releasing whole new Holochain apps every time because that can be really painful on on um, on Holochain in, like distributed apps because you literally have to uh, send out updates to everyone in the network. And so it's what we call like computations on the fly. So neighborhoods infrastructure would actually allow you to do that pretty easily. And so it is, I would say, designed for community activators. That's what we're calling them. People who can't, don't want to code and don't have necessarily fundraising skills to put together a couple hundred thousand dollars to put together an app and go down, you know, the traditional app funded model module. So you ideally could architect your culture using, you know, Replang. Um, but the second piece that Neighborhoods' marketplace helps solve is finding tools that allows people in your community to communities to discover each other. And so the point of the marketplace is to generate for you generic tools. We use the word generic tools because these tools won't impose on you their cultural aspirations. So for example, Discord or Facebook imposes upon us their rules, which is we want a certain amount of monetization or we have certain set of community guidelines. And so you can't meet people in this way or you will only see this order in your feed. Um, and so potentially you might have, I don't know, a dating app. This topic seems to be coming up in most conversations we have. Like you might want a dating app tool within your community. The problem we have with with current apps or tools that are out there or platforms is they tend to impose their algorithms in terms of who you should meet and who you shouldn't. But a community yeah. like yours has a very strong sense of Hey, we actually want to, you know, create these metrics which will allow these people to meet. So, the neighborhoods marketplace allows for generic tools to be accessed by people such as yourself. Um, and we call it a marketplace, but it's not really a marketplace because, you know, in distributed networks, it's actually just ways of discovering tools and ways of sharing costs with other communities that are, you know, using the same tools. 